if they don't bleed, there's something wrong with them, as if, you know, this ridiculous idea that somehow blood is proof of virginity. This is Lisa, and I have a YouTube channel that's all about love and sex and relationships. And today I'm with Tweak India, and we're gonna be answering some questions that Indians have about sex. I'm a woman, and even though I enjoy sex, I don't always orgasm. Is that normal? Honestly, most women don't orgasm every single time they have sex. However, I think there are several things that can be done to increase the likelihood of orgasm. Buy yourself a dual action vibrator and experiment with self-pleasure. It changed my life to do that. Also, communicate what works for you to your partner. And there's no shame in doing that. If you're just honest about how your body works, most people are eager to please. All right, next question. Does sex hurt the first time? Well, it doesn't have to. If you and your partner are taking things slow and have an open line of communication and you feel safe and comfortable and there's lots of foreplay and you use lube, it doesn't have to be painful. In the words of Rohan Joshi, with whom I had a really fun chat on my channel, first sexual experiences tend to be way less Karan Johar and way more Anurag Kashyap. Do girls bleed the first time they have sex? A lot of women are made to feel like if they don't bleed, there's something wrong with them, as if, you know, this ridiculous idea that somehow blood is proof of virginity. Most people think of the hymen as this sort of flat barrier or wall that's gonna break dramatically, when really it's an elastic, sort of scrunchy-like thing. And so some women bleed and some don't, and either way, it's perfectly fine. Do you have to start having sex by a certain age? It's worth keeping in mind that the legal age of consent for sex in India is 18. Knowing that neither do you ever have to feel pressurized to do something you don't want to, nor should you ever pressurize someone into doing something they don't want to. And so before you start having sex, I think that is the most important thing. Consent, I can't stress it enough. All right, this is an interesting one. Do guys like body hair on women or not? Personally, I think we need to all relax about body hair. So many people put themselves through really painful hair removal procedures because they feel that's the only way they'll be desirable. And if you're doing it for yourself, fine. If you genuinely like how it looks and feels, that is absolutely fine. But if you're doing it because you think your partner won't love you if you have hair, then you should either find a better partner or cut yourself some slack. It's highly unlikely that your partner is going to leave you because you have hair. How often should you have sex? There's no right answer to this. You can have sex as often as you want, as long as it's not getting in the way of your responsibilities or work or, you know, if, as long as you're not hurting yourself, have sex all the time. Okay, this one is one that I get asked pretty often. Does penis size matter? I'm just gonna say that it matters more that you're enthusiastic. I think if you're a generous lover who makes your partner's pleasure a priority, you're going to be better off. Lisa, what is slut shaming? Slut shaming is making women feel bad about wanting to have sex, having sex, embracing their sexuality. Really anything to do with female desire or women and sex tends to be shrouded in shame and stigma, especially in Indian society. And I would put all of that in the sort of umbrella of slut shaming. It's, it's so prevalent and we're so conditioned that we're not even exempt, I think, from feeling ashamed of our own desires and, and then judging each other. So everyone has to stop slut shaming, men, women, everyone. Okay, last question. How should I discuss sexual health or STDs? Good question. I am glad you asked. All right, if you're not in a monogamous relationship, regardless of whether you're already on some other form of birth control like the pill or IUDs, you absolutely have to be using condoms. That's the only thing that's gonna prevent an STD. If you're in a monogamous relationship and looking to switch from condoms to another form of birth control, such as the pill or an IUD, you certainly need to get tested. That is something that you should just regard as any other aspect of your health. It's a basic medical procedure. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to Tweak India's channel, leave a comment, and I'd love it also if you shared this video. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye.